Hey, what's up guys? Cody here. Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. So I'm doing a mod showcase on the Transformers mod. So I did a showcase like roughly two years ago. No, roughly three years ago. So crazy on this mod. It's made by my good friend Fistbill, and there is a major update that changes the whole game of Transformers. So if you love Transformers, be sure to leave a like, guys. And if we hit 5,000, that's right, 5,000, all of you Atlanteans need to come together and unite. We will make an update to Crazy Craft 3, adding this new update for Transformers in. It's got a lot of stuff, guys, and I've got some secret details about future updates after this one. So be sure to watch the entire video through, and let me know your favorite character. Mine has got to be Mr. Hotshot himself. Come on, Fist, you can add him in. You can add him in. All right, so we have a bit of a meteor over there. I'll be taking a look in just a moment. But the Transformers, we've got Sky Strike. We've also got Verp. We've got Subwoofer. And we've got Cloud Trap. Now I forget this guy's name. What are you? Oh, you're Purge, okay. <laughs> so let's take a look at some of these Transformers. You guys might have seen my showcases in the past showing the T-50 Stealth Jet off, Mr. Cloud trap. So we're gonna we're gonna go over it real real quick. So press C and you transform. Now we can press X to you know boost around. And if you hit something, it's brand new. Um, it might have been in like the last update, but if you are going over 60 kilometers and you collide with a block, yeah, see you you untransform. So I was going a little bit slower that that last time. It's gonna be exactly 60. Boom. It makes sense, so you, you just de-transform and you come out of that state. Now, uh, Mr. Cloudtrap has a few different things, so if I press spacebar, I can boost up and around using his little passive ability. And let's put him back. You guys know uh, Subwoofer, the blue guy. Well, then let's do that, perfect. Okay, yeah, Subwoofer is the blue guy. He's a very cool looking dude. He turns into a car. So he's gonna have a massive update coming very soon, uh, but real quick, we're gonna show off the items. So the items before were not 3D, they only had an icon. But now, if you drop them, look, oh. Why would it, oh. Oh, what, weird. Why? I don't know why they keep turning colors. <laughs> uh, but they're 3D now. So yeah, you can place them on the ground and they will just look pretty sweet. Uh, you can put them on tables for like custom NPCs and all that stuff. So let's put him back, Mr. Subwoofer. He's getting a total remodel, guys, and his car will be as well. Uh, there's some pictures. Maybe I'll overlay it on screen. You guys can take a look right now. Mr. Orion is uh, probably the best modeler for Minecraft I've ever seen. Now, there's a lot of great modelers, but he does a great job for all these. He's been redoing them one by one. Uh, so we got this verp dude. He's... Uh, Pretty much like a, a Porsche, I think, when he's transformed. Oh, let's take a look. Yeah, he's a Porsche. <laughs> so he's a cool car. And then this guy, Mr. Purge, is a tank. And then we have what you've all been waiting for, the remodel of Sky Strike. So if we take his uh, dropship and we shift right-click, we can become him. So he has a total revamped model. He's got some new animations. He's got his wings on the side. Look at that. You can jump up and down, get that cool animation. Do we get a falling animation? Yes, we do. So, you might be asking, what's so different about him? Well, he looks awesome. Uh, that, 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 is that not good enough for you? Well, uh, we can't really take a look at the uh, drop ship when we're in this kind of view. Uh, I think before you could have won an F5, but for some reason now you can't. It looks so cool, it glides very nicely. So, uh, let's land. I think there's a way for me to do that. Hold on, I can show off uh, what he's all about in just a second, uh, what the dropship looks like. Because I think I can make it into a 3D car, or vehicle, and then we can drop it. Yes, we can! So look at that, the dropship is insanely well modeled. I mean, like, look at it, it's flipping cool. Okay, we're gonna put him back on. Uh, so there's also another thing. It's nothing major, but uh, Fisk told me about it. Look at that. So when we transform, it's so much smoother. It's 30 FPS or like it's unlimited or something he said. It just 
looks incredible. I can't believe it. All right, we're putting this back. Let's uh, put it in the rack. So there's another major update. All of you guys might uh, be thinking, hey, there's no, there's no girly colors for for uh, Transformers. Well, <laughs> we can make that happen. In the top right, we have a new item called customization component. If you put this in the Transformer display station, you can then have the ability to customize a um, Transformer outfit. So here we go. All right, we got. Uh, he's he's looking all white right now, so we just changed the color. But uh, we can have some presets here that are pre-generated -color, uh, colors. Ooh, I like that light blue one. All right, so we changed it completely, guys. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's jump back in. So let's go for some pink. I want some pink. Oh, that's not, how, how do you make pink? Oh, well, we're, we're on the track, I think. Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh, this looks awesome. Eh, maybe not that great. <laughs> Well, let's change the blue now. So yeah, there's two different things you can uh, change. Uh, we got the, the certain piece of the armor uh, that are pink right now, and we can change the ones that are blue. What if we make this one blue or, or pink, and then we make this one the blue? Um, I'm very bad with colors. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? This is fine. <laughs> This is fine. We got an all pink sky strike. Oh, even the job ship changes. Look at the job ship. Job <laughs> drop ship. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right, we're putting this bad boy on. We are just too cool. Too cool for school. Now, um, we can't change any of the gray blocks, but I think this is very customizable, and you guys can come up with some very cool color. Um, variations the next thing we're gonna take a look at in this new display uh, station is another component so the armor component you guys might have played crazy craft um, I have played crazy craft anyways you might be fighting some bosses bosses that are too strong for this armor and uh, you want to do some upgrades well you can do that we can go into this armor component and make our um, armor take that of what we put in uh well we take the transformer armor and make it as strong as the armor you put in so right now i'm putting in leather cap uh that does minus two protection makes it a weaker and uh, if you had say an ultimate helmet or a royal guardian or a queen helmet you could make this thing so overpowered it's not even funny, but I, I don't have Crazy Crafter or Spawn installed, so I can't. So, if we make this all leather, we can, uh, you know, just, well, make it very weak. <laughs> and if you do want to want to get your leather back, um, you just have to go... Some pink slippers. Hmm, okay. Uh, yeah, you just have to put the armor back in, and you can just take it out, so it's back to normal. And you get your leather boots. You can do what you want with them. I think that's pretty much it with the the armors and stuff. You guys know all the weapons. We got Subwoofer's Base Blaster, uh, Cloud Trap's Flamethrower, Vert Sniper, and um, I just want to say real quick, so about the Transformers, they're going to be doing some major updates on how the vehicles work. He um, was telling me that they might work similar to the Flans mod. Uh, it's a pretty cool idea. I, I think the planes he was talking about, I don't know about the vehicles. Uh, but if we go into the chest here, he's also going to be revamping how the weapons work. So the weapons, uh, he wants to do a totally new system on them. I'm looking forward to seeing how they come out. Uh, now if you guys saw the the small add-on that the Transformers mod has, uh, it takes stuff from the actual movies and the cartoons, so there's an Optimus Prime Transformers. Uh, these are all like custom Transformers that they made up. Uh, but the Optimus Prime Transformer, he doesn't yet have his swords. So I want him to be able to have his swords. That'd be really cool. Another thing with the suits, I guess, before I forget, is the crafting recipes. So everything! Just, if you knew how to craft these before, toss it out the window! Goodbye! See you later. Wouldn't want to be you because <laughs> if we press R, we have a totally new crafting table, the assembly table. So he made the effort of work, uh, making this all work within 
not enough items so huge shout out to mr fisk for making this work we have the assembly table so we're looking here how to craft this purge head so to craft this you need some new stuff transformium alloy you need some gold ingots uh you need a protoform head and uh, to craft that you're gonna need some very expensive stuff but it's all crafted in this bad boy right here now i'm not gonna go over the crafting recipes because there's so many in, of them i i I'm a little, a little salty about the new crafting recipes, <laughs> but it, it makes sense because a transformer, it's a freaking awesome uh, piece of machinery, and I think it requires a little bit more than what it cost before. So uh, to make this transformer, um, transformer assembly table, eh, you're gonna need some energon dust, which is just gotten from energon ore that you find around the world, the crude alloy wire. So it's simple-ish. Uh, I'll be showing you guys the basics here. Now, how you used to get Energon Crystals, which is the main source of powering pretty much everything with the Transformers mod, was just finding them randomly throughout the world. These crystals would be in caves, and they would be spread out. Now, they're going to be found in clusters, really tight together, and then we have a rarer crystal over here. It's called the Red Energon Crystal. Uh, I'll go over those in a moment. They're going to be providing a lot more power than the Energon Crystals uh, for a certain aspect of this mod. Okay, so we got those. We're gonna move over to how to utilize the crystals now. Before you just mine them up and use them in the crafting recipes or use them as ammo for the weapons, we're now gonna be having to extract the power from these. So if we look at this guy right here, it's called Isotopic Condenser. So it's got a major name and you might be thinking, Cody, I I can't, I can't comprehend this. If I can learn this tech mod, this tech edition, then you guys can. It's very cool, and it's going to be so powerful. So we're jumping in. We are going to place an isotopic condenser real quick, and uh, we're going to see what it's doing. If we look over at this uh, little bit here, we are now getting EMB. This is the source of power in the whole uh, Transformers mod. We are now pulling... Um, the power from this crystal right here so I can break it and that thing will go back up and it'll only show me pulling power from the energon cube now if we place uh, two energon crystals same thing now we place two of these we're able to pull from four things you can only pull from four things maximum now say you find a huge cluster I'm gonna go down here we're gonna we're gonna see a bunch of different uh, crystals all throughout this entire place. Now you might be thinking, Cody. Well, the crystals. What 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 if they're in a cave and such, and you don't want to really really move them? And well, you can have isotopic condensers stacked on each other. And what we can do here is right-click this guy, and then we can tell it to send the power upwards. So we're going to um, open up this GUI on the right-hand side called Configure Sides. So once we go to Configure Sides, you'll be like, oh my gosh, there's a lot there. Let me break it down for you. So uh, right above us is another isotopic condenser, this guy right here. We want to uh, pull all the power from him to this. So it goes up like a conveyor belt going upwards. Hmm, that makes sense. So we're going to tell it to push upwards now we can tell it to pull the power from uh, above so if we tell it to pull from the top it will pull all the power that this guy is getting but we're going to tell it to push so it's going to push all the power and then it's going to go all the way up to the top into this guy called a energy column so the energy column is going to be our way to store all this power so we're going to get some different canisters here that can harness all that uh, come with me, buddy. Okay, so we're going to open up this GUI, and now we're going to put the power can canister in. Look at that go up. It's starting to go. And all these hold different amounts. So the iron canister, or the regular power canister, only holds 4,000 EMB. Uh, the gold one, 8,000. Then we got uh, the gold, uh, diamond one, 16, and emerald, 32,000. Now we're going to escape here look at this so we just added all these power canisters that are going to be harnessing the power that is being brought up from all these crystals now the crystals do not deplete at all 
That's very good, because if they did, you'd have to be moving this setup all the time. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can just mine them up and bring them to different areas, uh, but we're, we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to leave them down there, because we have this whole thing built. <laughs> Uh, all right, so yeah, we see the power going in there now the way we're gathering that power is by Doing the same thing we were before so if you look at uh, the configure GUI we have the down uh, area, so we're gonna pull from This guy right here now all the energy from the bottom one is going all the way to the top and If we just you know were to break this real quick you can grab those we would start from the beginning, so we'd go into the configure sides, and we would just pull. So, pull that all up, him and up, and the energy will then be put into these guys. And uh, we'll be harnessing the power of life, as we know it. Hmm. Cool stuff. And we have some right above us called the Alloy Crucible. So, yeah, you might be thinking, well, we're gathering all this power, Cody. What are we going to do with it? I mean... Why would we have this whole system just to not do anything? I'm I'm there. We're ready to start going in. So how we're gonna start using this uh, power is gonna be making a alloy crucible. So this alloy crucible will be the tool for making various types of alloy that are key to pretty much all the crafting recipes in this mod. So if we press U on crude flux alloy, it's going to be used to make a basic circuit. The refined flux alloy will be used to make all this stuff. So if we press R on crude flux alloy, how to make this? All we have to do is get a alloy crucible, power it up, and we put in a gold ingot, iron ingot, and a redstone. And we're going to let it go. Nothing's happening. Okay, the way we make this happen is by pulling the energy from below cool right so it's cooking it's a cooking we're getting some EMB in there give me the EMB EMB wait hold on if I take this out does it still oh my gosh you take it out and it has the little buzz electrical electrical thing going around that's cool did not know that all right so yep we're getting some crude flux alloy right now we can do that same thing for the energon uh, alloy and the way you get energon dust, which is used for this um, alloy crucible crafting recipe, is by um, mining up some energon ore. So that was a mouthful and a half. And you guys kind of got the basics now. So we're moving on. If you're following with me, we can now take a look at all this cool stuff. Let's jump over here. So we got something called an energy energon processor. We're going to put some cubes in there. And, oh, we're also going to put redstone dust. So this energon processor, real quick on the crafting recipe, it takes improved circuits. It, you, know, it, you can figure it out. Just get not enough items. It's not too complicated. I'm showing the basics. So I'll put the redstone dust to power this energon processor, and we'll begin to get some MB. So this is like a liquid form. Oh, look, it's, it's going crazy. Calm down. Oh, okay. There you go. Uh, it's a liquid form of this energy. So it's not... Uh, Ex exactly energy it's just liquid I guess <laughs> I'm not sure but we can look here and see that we have standard energon a uh, hundred percent so we're gonna we're gonna try to get some of this we need to get a fuel canister and we're gonna put it right in that and start draining it out you look at a little faucet give me all that fuel give me all that fuel this fuel can then be put in here into these Energon fuel, uh, fluid tanks. So we're going to take a creative fluid tank and just show you guys. Uh, the way you store this is you're getting a fluid tank and, well, you know, we're going to put that in. So it's all getting filled up to the top. <laughs> we're going to break that because last time we did that, it crashed, crashed my game. So we'll, we'll be careful with the creative stuff. Anyways, we've now got some, uh, some of this fuel. So we're going to put the fuel canisters into this machine called an Energon Transmitter crafting recipe i'll show it very complicated uh but not enough items kinds of dumbs it it, it dumbs it down for you yeah take some stuff from the alloy crucible all that jazz i'm just here to show you how to use it not how to make it okay we're gonna put in a fuel canister boom so that red energon fuel canister it gives you so much more mb than if you were to put in a regular standard fuel canister so we'll put a creative one in here for now. 
I uh, think, yeah, we'll just grab this one, the red one. And we're gonna totally power up this transmitter so we don't need to worry about power at all. You can see the link, it's going up. Looking pretty fancy. And we're gonna now go off and uh, we're gonna power some things. So right here we have ourselves an energy relay torch. So the energy relay torch and the energy relay are ways to extend your power and bring your power away from your base. So take this as our base and we wanna go expanding our universe and we wanna start powering some different stuff. Well, we can do that by creating a little relay system. So now we're gonna go into this green GUI. Right click it and you'll see like this cool map. This map uh, shows all the things that could potentially be used to relay power from your transmitter or that could take power from your transmitter. We're gonna power up um, those relays. So we just selected it. Look at that. It's now getting power. And we can then take this one and we see on the left we have a blue dot which is for the energy relay. We're gonna connect this all. Boom! Look at that. They're all connected. So this one uh, has a little bit of a more expensive crafting, crafting recipe than the regular torch relay because it can go further. So if I wanted to extend this guy to this guy, we can go further away, but the torch would have to be closer to connect the two. Okay, so now we're gonna try something. We're gonna connect this relay to this relay to this relay, and then we're gonna be trying to give some power to this column. So let's go do that. Transmitter, we're opening up the GUI. So we can also scroll over here to change where we're looking. So pretty much picture this as like a top down view. We're gonna go uh, to 72. We started at 69, we're gonna go to 72, and then if we look to our right, we have the energy relay. So blue on this little map shows uh, relays. So torches and then the, the big relay. Uh, anything red would be, I think, an um, alloy crucible, I'm, if I'm, I'm correct. And then this blue uh, green thing would be this bridge control table. But we don't need to power that. We're going to be powering this. Um, hello? There we go. Hey. Okay. So now we're going to right click uh, the energy torch here. And we're gonna go 72, click on this guy, and we're gonna go over here, find the blue one, and it goes over there! And then, finally, oh wait, hold on, okay, red is not an alloy crucible, red is a energy column, okay. Anyways, so you'll click on the red one, and boom, 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 this thing's now getting power. So we're transmitting that from boom, 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 ow, wait. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I broke it! No! Why would I do that? It's okay. So, we can also social make something else off. If we block this with a piece of stone or anything, we can block the transmission. So, you just need to be careful when you're setting up this relay system to make sure that it's not going through any blocks. Uh, now, one other thing, guys. We can go and make some pretty cool um, colors inside this tank. I forgot about it, but uh, let me just get some fuel canisters here. We have red and we have blue. He showed me not this off and I was like, oh my god, this is the coolest part. <laughs> so let's put some uh, blue in there, some of the regular Energon fuel. And then we're going to put in red Energon fuel. It just changed color. Here we go. It's turning even more red. It's like maroon purple. Look at that! We're changing the colors! You can just keep going until it turns back to red or back to blue. I thought that was pretty funny. We're moving over here, guys, and I'm gonna show you one other thing. So in the GUIs, uh, you can see something called redstone mode. So if you want these to turn off um, or whatever, you can do that. So if we hit active when si uh, with signal, so we can shut this off. Okay. So, yeah, they aren't working because I don't have a redstone signal. But as soon as I give one, it starts working. Now, you can invert this so it will work when you have a signal off. But when you put a signal on, it will stop. Just 
if you guys are redstone freaks and want to <laughs> want to make something pretty cool that you can use. All right, so we've got the, the this transmitter. We we want to do the cool thing with it. You might be thinking, Cody, yes, awesome. You can relay stuff. You can put it in columns. What, what, what's the point of this? You guys want to go to some dimensions? Well, we're going to be able to pretty soon. Anyways, uh, let, let's go into this GUI and let's power up this bridge control panel. So the bridge control panel is uh, very expensive. You're going to need some things. Things you didn't think you were ever going to have to make, like uh, singularity. What What is that? Energy converter. Again, not enough items is, is your friend, and do not worry about your friend. So this thing is it's powering up. Once it's full, I think it will beam. Yes. All right, beam, and um, I'm actually going to break this real quick so we can take a look at something else. So you see this bar right here? That has uh, indication that we have no power whatsoever. We're going to give some power by doing this. Uh, so it's going up. Look at it. It's going up, up, up. Oh, give me that power. Wait, wait. Give me power. What? It's giving me power, but it's not showing the signal. That must be just a little graphical glitch. Anyways, so we now had this bad boy all powered up, and it's raining again. You know, rain, just can you not rain on my parade? I'm trying to do a mod showcase for my Atlanteans out there. <sighs> As I was explaining. This thing is going to allow us to make a portal. So we can see something here called an error. Uh, how we're going to fix that is pretty easily. So no portal linked. Locator was unable to find a functioning ground bridge portal frame within range. Two more errors were detected. So we got some errors to fix. No worries. So we need uh, some ground bridge frames. This is uh, not that expensive. You guys can sort it out. But uh, we're going to make this portal. And the way we do is by having three. Or just copy the design I'm gonna make here. And almost done. There we go. Wait. <laughs> what did? Oh wait. <laughs> there we go. That is all done. So now it detects it. We have another error. Invalid coordinate destination must be at least 64 blocks from the bridge control origin. Okay. Well. Have you guys ever played the Doctor Who mod? The Doctor Who mod was a huge inspiration for this whole panel here, where if we were to right click, say this knob, it turns. Yep, it does stuff. Well, if we look here, we can control the X, Y, and Z coordinates that are shown up here. This is where the portal will transport us. We are e also able to change dimensions, but I'll show you that all in a second. So let's uh, right click one of these. Come on, there we go. So if you're looking at X, we're at 51. If I'm right clicking this, we're now you know going up, up and up and up. And if we press shift, we can go bring it back. Now this is uh, the one, it goes up by one or goes down by one. This one goes by 10, this one goes by 100, and then this one goes by a thousand. So very, very far away. No worries though. We are now going to have to change the Z. Uh, we have not enough space. Destination does have does not have an empty space. Okay, so we'll have to go higher up because it's probably putting us in the ground. Nice. Uh, so that was changing our Y. The Y is the height. So height. Yeah. And uh, well, let's bring it down. Okay. So 171. We have a clear destination. Now, if we wanted to change the Z, all we would have to do is you know we can click that or bring it back. Um, we can do that. Uh, we have the portal. We've got energy. Uh, we, we can do it. Bada bum bum bum. It doesn't have any sound effects, but I'm sure it will. So let's jump in. I mean, uh, let's probably grab our big transformer suit. Sky, tri Sky Strike, come with me. All right, we're going in. Uh, wish me luck. Ooh, where are we? home mom is that you <laughs> oh oh no oh, oh geez so we're over the water uh, we're gonna have to find some stuff like our portal so our portal is our way home let's go back into it into the portal 
Oh, jeez. We're here. So, yeah, that didn't work out too well. We landed in water and stuff. But there's a way to fix all that. So there's some add-ons we can do for this whole bridge controller center. We can take some data cores. These data cores are very expensive as well. Uh, no, actually not that expensive. Oh, this one's expensive. Okay, well, anyways, uh, we can put this guy in. So if you want to... Wait. Oh, we, we have to close the portal. So any changes you want to do to this, you have to close the portal. There we go. Uh, we're going to put this range data core in. This will increase the range that we're able to go for the... Um, the drive. Um, out of bounds, destination cannot be lower than Y0. Um, or higher than 256. Okay, so we'll bring it down. Uh, calm down. This way. There you go. Okay, we now have this thing sorted. We can go much further with this range add-on. And uh, that's pretty much basic. Now, how uh, we're going to sort this whole system for spawning up in the air is by getting a data core leveler so this thing will level you on the ground so right now I'm leveled on the ground but if I was up here you know I'm not level so that's kinda of where the portal was the portal was flying up in the air if we hit this the portal will automatically be on the ground for us instead of being flying up in the air out, out of, in outer space it's, yeah see we're good uh, ooh. there we go let's jump back in now, you might be thinking, Cody, you said something about dimensions. I'm not lying. We're able to... <laughs> I love that. It just it goes in and then goes out. To... It's gone. Um, we can now use this data core space bridge to go to different dimensions. This will work for all custom uh, dimensions. So if you want to go to the Crazy Craft dimensions, you can do that. We have the Overworld. So the Overworld, we're going to hit uh, that, and we can then go to the Nether. So not enough space. We're going to have to change where we're going. There we go. Let's hunt that. And we're able to jump in to the nether. Oh, what was that? Oh, no. We are we are definitely in the nether. It's, it, it's red. Everything's red. Oh. Hey, Lamel. We're up here at the top. Let's go back home. Cool. So... That is pretty much it for the mod, guys. There's only a couple little things that I have left to show you. So if we want to save where we last like went, we can get something called a coordinate storage drive. And we can then uh, link this by pressing shift and right click to our bridge. And if we say want to go um, over here, we can right click on the ground. And then we can put the coordinates right in. Um, by right clicking. Um, oh, wait, we can't do it while the bridge is active. Closing the bridge! There we go. So it automatically puts the coordinates in that we just sorted out, and we can, well, show up. Wait, oh, what just happened? What? Uh, maybe I didn't do it right. Maybe, or maybe it's just a little bit, um, uh, uh, I think it's just a little bit of a glitch. Or I'm doing it wrong. I'm sorry. But anyways, that's the coordinate storage drive. We now have the ground bridge remote. So the bra uh, ground bridge remote can be linked up again by hitting shift right click on your bridge remote. And you can pretty much take this anywhere and change the coordinates of where the portal will bring you on the fly. So if we go over here, we can then change where the portal is going to bring us by right-clicking in the air. Um, it doesn't work currently. It will work in the future. If you start right there, I, I right-clicked and it, it did something weird. Uh, we're supposed to be able to open it and then type in, say, we want to go to uh, some random place. Yeah, we want to go there, or we want to go there, there, or we want to change that. We can do that. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, there also is this dial. So you know how the portal, like, it, right now it's facing uh, north. If we want it to face, say, west when we spawn in, we can do that. Southwest and north. It'll just change the direction it's looking. Nothing major. Um, that's it, guys. The mod has a huge new um, system of crafting, of energy. It's coming along great. He does plan to do some major updates, like I said, to how the vehicles 
uh, work, like for flying and everything, and also the additions or changes to how the weapons work as well. I'm really excited, Fisk. You and your team have done a great job. Now, Atlanteans, please, if you want to download the mod, link is in the description. And uh, if you do want to see this updated for Crazy Craft, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Thanks for watching, guys. Atlanteans, unite!